I think uh, uh, what makes a good horror movie is uh, good characters, great actors, and a, a really interesting world creation. Like, uh, I think in Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, we tried to show a family dynamic that is interesting to watch, even without the creatures. And uh, then we tried to hint at the origin and the uh, nature of the creatures and, uh, and through them uh, discover a whole world that links fairy tales with horror. Can you talk a little about the development of creatures? How do you make them unique and interesting if the audience hasn't seen those before? Well, it's very important when you're developing a monster, a creature, that you keep in mind that you're not just developing that because when you make a monster for monstrosity's sake, it's really very bad. I think that you need to be conscious of the fact that you are developing a character. So everything in the design of the creature needs to be indicative of character. Character intention, you know, uh, when you see somebody walking uh, down the street, by the way they move, the way they uh, act, the way they are dressed, the way they look at you, you can infer a lot about their character. And the same is no different uh, when you are designing a creature. Uh, you know, it's, it's horrible when people design creatures that are always angry and snarling. It's great to design creatures that are able to be in repose, that can be benign at some point, like a lion. A lion is beautiful when it's in repose, but terrifying when it's attacking you.